to this debate. Thank you, Deputy Chair. The member for Indi. To endorse the colleagues of the Chair and Deputy Chair, thank you. What I'm so pleased about in this report is it's a principle-based report that if the recommendations are accepted by the government, will lead us to good governance for all of Australia. The principle that I most want to stress that the Deputy Chair has referred to, but the one that's most important to me, is that of subsidiarity. Now, this is a concept that says decisions are made at the level of governance most close to the people who are going to be impacted by it. And I think it's that particular principle that governs the whole report. How do we make sure that the people who live in the regions and rural and remote areas of Australia have decisions made for them and by them at the level closest to them? So if I could just briefly pick up three of the recommendations in the report that support this principle. The long-term recommendations, as has already been mentioned, is about policy. So I am very, very supportive of the green and white paper policy process. We, as we travelled around the country, we saw examples of this process where it works. So it had the unanimous support of the committee, and it's a process that if we do well, which of course we have the capacity to do, will this give this country a regional policy that will be there for the long term for all people. However, in the report there are also some short-term, easily uh, picked up recommendations, and I'm delighted the minister's at the table. So from my perspective, the most important recommendation in the report is about regional deals. And I'm delighted the minister, when he was speaking to the Australian Local Government Association, both him and the Prime Minister endorsed this concept of regional deals. So we look forward to working with you, Minister, on piloting these in the very, very near future and getting them underway. Because I think if we can do things in a reasonably short time frame that actually show the people of rural and regional Australia that they have been listened to, this report has been taken seriously, and here's the action that the government is going to do as a result of it. And we all know how well the city deals are working. So taking that um, machinery of government and applying it to regions, I think, will have um, a really big impact. So, uh, Minister, looking forward to working with you as we do that. So as we talk about the recommendations, the other, the other aspect of this that I really like about the report is the practical nature of the recommendations. And I acknowledge the member for Murray for his work and his absolute tenacity in, in supporting Regional Development Australia groups as the, the main mechanism for grounding um, what we call these regional deals, a, strate a strategic approach. So we've already got our, our eight, um, Regional Development Australia bodies in place. Let's use them. Let's do strategic planning at the regional level, and then let, let's work with the government, with the Commonwealth government, state and local government, and communities to do the planning and the strategy that enable these deals to take place. So here's a huge call out to the RDAs. Um, we're really looking forward to you having the resources you need to do the planning you need. That we can work from that. The other aspect of the report that I would like to talk about is it's bipartisan. And again, I'd like to acknowledge the leadership of all the chairs we've had and the, and the, the contribution of the Labor Party. We have worked really hard with our communities because we absolutely understand that if we are going to get the um, development that we need in the regions, it's got to be a parliamentary activity. We can't fight on traditional tribal lines. It's got to be everybody working together, regardless of your political affiliations. And we have that in this report, and it's a fantastic achievement. And I'd like to really pay tribute to the leadership to, to do the really hard work to get everybody to agree to the recommendations. So congratulations to this parliament. And I think it will make the people of Australia really proud that when we have to, we work together as a parliament. We don't play those tribal games, and we deliver a report that everybody agrees to. But having done the report, the work's not over. As the member, um, the deputy chair said, we've set up, we recommend a setting up a parliamentary um, standing committee to make sure it gets supported. But here's my real call out. It's to the prime minister and to the relevant ministers. This is only going to work if we have leadership. And one of the reasons why this committee exists is it had the, top, the support of the prime minister in the beginning. So I know he's on side with this. But if we are going to have regional Australia reach its potential, to be full of opportunity, to be caring, to be prosperous, and to take its place in this nation, it's going to need significant leadership. 
It's going to need us all pulling together behind that leadership, and we absolutely know it's possible. But it's not going to be easy. If I could mention to this parliament that one of my predecessors in his maiden speech, Lou Lieberman, the member for Indi, in 1993 said regional development is his major issue. And 25 years later, I'm standing here as the member for Indi making the same call. But we must draw a line in the sand. We can't keep going without a national strategic approach to regional development. So in bringing my comments to a close, I want to say to my colleagues in this House, to the members of the National Party who represent regional seats, to the members of the Liberal Party who represent regional seats, to the members of the Labor Party who regional, regional seats, we have shown we can work together. We have a report here that has got some significant recommendations in it. Can I say over the next six months, can we get that standing committee set up really quickly and can we begin to do the work that we know we can do so that before the next election, before we all go out and face our electorates again, we can say we have done this, we have delivered regional deals, we have the standing committee. And if we could even get the Commonwealth government through its cabinet to reform its regional ministerial task force to provide the coordination we need, they would be such good activities we could go back to our communities and say, tick, we've done what we said we're going to do. So in bringing my comments to a close, I also want to acknowledge um, the, the, thank, the general thank yous have been done. But I too want to thank the people of Indi. 44 submissions, 44 community groups and individuals got together. They did the hard work. They put the hours of preparation in. They heard the call. They turned up at the hearings. They delivered results. And I have to say proudly that there were more submissions from Indi than any other electorate in the country. So clearly, my electorate cares and I care. So thank you to the people of Indi for absolutely getting behind me as your member and will continue to advocate for this. But the other people I need to thank are my staff. All our staffs have worked so hard on this. So I want to acknowledge Karen Lee managing the diary, a really hard task, very, very difficult as we chopped and changed and did hearings around the country. I want to acknowledge my electoral officers, to Christine, to, to um, Sarah and to Peter for handling the constituent inquiries. Fantastic. I want to thank my media people, uh, Leah currently and other media people who have just got behind this whole, whole process and helped explain to my electorate and particularly to the young people in the electorate why this is important. I want to thank Jeremy, my political adviser, who continues to give me really sound advice on how to do work. Um, to George, a fantastic job, which you continue to deliver, you continue to persist. And I know in the last month you've worked so hard on this draft. To Di, my Chief of Staff, for the guidance you give all of us and enable us to keep doing our work. And for my other staff, who I'm not going to name, but to all of you, this has been a whole office job. It's been a whole community job. And I am so pleased that we've got to this stage. And I give my commitment to my community to work with my colleagues now, to work on the standing committee so that we can advance um, the recommendations and actually do the hard work that we know needs to happen next. So thank you, Deputy Speaker, for the honour to be here, and to my colleagues, to member for um, uh, um, the, the chair and the deputy chair, and particularly for your work. It's been a real—I um, want to say—baptism uh, of fire, <laughs> uh, a real challenge. Um, but I think if we can do what needs to be done next, we will all retire from this job in the long term. Very proud of the work that we've done for regional Australia.